Hey, welcome back. Listen, we got Mr. Henry Cavill in the building. Welcome him to the show. Now, this is Superman. Okay, the girl, the second, third, fourth Superman, I guess. Because the last time I checked, it was Christopher Reeves. Okay, now we know Christopher Reeves is no longer, longer with us. But it just, nobody can play Superman like Christopher Reeves. Okay, I'm sorry. But, girl, clearly this man right here with a face like this said that he can play him too. Now, it's just a fake face. Okay, who faced that chisel? Or, or it looked fakely chiseled. It's not... Girl, I don't know, girl, but don't give me the line because I don't know. Because I don't know much about him, but I have seen his name trending a lot. So, because of that, I invited him to the show and we're going to see what's his energy. What's going on with Mr. Henry Cavill. Okay. So, let's pull some cards on him. Let's just jump straight in. Divine Angels, can you please give me the current energy for Mr. Henry Cavill? Okay, look like Karen Cavill and bought him a new house, honey. Or some real estate. But it's a beautiful house, too. It's the best house in the deck. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, the last time I saw this man, he was hanging out with uh, Millie Billy Bobby Brown. Girl, for what? Okay. But it seems like right now, he he's in the, either in the process of buying a new house or mansion, girl. This is a big house, honey. We got a little house in the deck, but honey... The big house came out for Mr. Henry. So, you know, I don't know if he's in the market of buying a new buying new real estate, but this is a gorgeous house, honey. Gated community. Girl, it looks like it's in Moscow. Is that look like it's in Russia? But I don't know, girl. But it's very fancy. Then next we have marriage. Okay. Did he just get married or gonna get married or proposed or engaged? Or him and his wife about to move in this beautiful house. But I am seeing marriage here. So I see ha happy house, happy marriage. Oh, but then we got a false person. Just right when we thought was things were going great. Okay. We got this false person card. Now, now with the, with the house and the marriage being next to each other, this is a very, this is very good. Okay. It's a very good start, a very new beginning, a beautiful start to a beautiful, beautiful relationship and a new start to a family. But, girl, what happened? Something happened in the third quarter, okay? It's like right when you think you're about to hit that home run and run on run on in. We got this false person. Somebody lying. Somebody capping, baby. So, let's see. Can we pull some cards on what's going on with this? So, give me more about this house. Let's make sure he's buying a house, girl. Because he could be about to rob somebody. I don't know. I, could, I, I, I don't know. So, let's see. Why is this house here for Henry Cavill? What's going on with this house for Henry? It's something about this jawline right here. Is that an implant? Because it's something about this. And then he don't have that cleft right there. So it's like, girl, is you really Superman? Superman known for his cleft chin. Right? Christopher Reeves had a nice shaped face. I mean, that was my first crush. I remember. Especially when he went back to the, um, because this kind of reminded me of my little setup. You know, when he used to go back to um, his home. Because he was so lonely on that little farm, honey. He was tired of working, okay? So, he would go back home to that little Iceland-like place. And he would see Lola there. And I, I just love when he used to go back to that place. That's, that used to be my favorite scene in the movie. When he would go back, it would be like a bunch of crystals. It would be all white, snowy, and pretty. And he seemed like he was so happy and at peace there. Now, why he chose Lola out of all women to be obsessed with, I don't understand it. But, girl, he liked it. He loved him some Lola. So, I think they could have picked a Bella Lola. That just, that's what I'm saying. Pick a Bella Lola for this man. Okay, because he was too fine for Lola. I mean, nothing against Lola, but I'm just saying, from what I remember her, it's like he, they could have did Bella. Just like they could have picked a Bella Mary Jane for Spider-Man. But girl, let me just move on. Let me mind my business. So, give me more about this house. What do we need to know about this house here for Henry? Oh, girl. It seems like he just got married. Because this is the happy wedding. Happy bouquet. Happy joy. Girl, unlocking the door. It's simple. Okay. You got yeah, it's like he's... um. 
wedding bliss, a lot of happiness and joy. He got the keys to the house. He about to unlock the door, opening up. It's going to be a new beginning. He about to go over the threshold, okay, with his, with his new wife or his new partner, okay? Is he married? The current said he is, okay? So we got him and his wife about to buy a new house or his future wife, okay? Give me more about this marriage. What do we need to know about marriage when it comes to Kavil? Okay, Mr. Kavil, you looking you looking very uh handsome now that I see you over here buying a house or you bought a beautiful house for your wife or your future wife. And then we got this marriage card here. And it's like he with the cross, it's like some type of spiritual divination. Um it's like a spiritual, like lighthearted, like he's very much connected whoever this female is whoever this person is that he's partnered with he's he has a very much spiritual connection with this person very happy this person warms his heart makes him happy makes him smile it's like his days are much brighter when this person is in his life so he's very happy okay he is at, at a very good place in his life and then we got loyalty companionship um, somebody that he can be very faithful to, trustworthy. And he said he's closing on the house with this person because this person is so loyal. And they're probably even buying a new dog. But then we got something false person in the third quarter. Ain't that when it happened? You know, bought the beautiful house, got this high mortgage, okay? Over here, uh, you got a loyal wife, beautiful loyal wife, or a beautiful loyal husband. And then we got somebody being false. Now, why? Okay, give me more about this false person for Henry. Okay, Henry said he ain't the one being false. Okay, it's somebody else being false here. Now, who's being false? Now, we got the stork here. That, that's that fertility energy. That that's also stands for new beginning, newness, a pregnancy. There's some type of change that's going to be happening here, a birth. That's going to be happening here, or a special occasion, a new occasion that's happening. Okay, now with this false person. Somebody that you can't trust. Somebody that's not showing who they truly are. Um, they're hiding something. Okay. Are they hiding a pregnancy? It looked like it. It like the lady is hiding a pregnancy. Okay. So she's really not a false person. She's just making sure. Okay. She's probably not going to tell nobody until three months. You know. You know. You don't tell nobody until then. Um, but it's somebody that's a significant other. Okay. Y'all know her? Yeah. Uh, look at y'all. Uh-uh, that ain't who he married. Uh-uh, that ain't who he married to. But the card says, it's a beautiful young lady, okay? That's a significant other that could possibly be pregnant, okay? With the new beginnings. They got the new house. And they're very happy. they on the same page when it comes to the pregnancy. Uh, it's also speaking about elderly. Okay, it's like, girl, let's go ahead and have these baby before we get too old. Okay, let's go ahead and plant these roots, okay? But it's also speaking about peace, contentment, wisdom. Beautiful moments, beautiful times they sharing together with the lily. Then we got mountains. There's like some type of challenges, maybe blocks, delays that's around, you know, that, that they come across. There's some type of delays or there may could be some type of challenges that's happening with the pregnancy. That's probably why it's secret now. Okay. But then we got a snake here. Deception, tricks, betrayal, seduction. Okay. There could be, honey, it could be an extracurricular extra curricular activity okay in the marriage now let's make sure okay because all of these cards are good this false person at the end with the snake is confirming that it is somebody here that's lying okay now it's a concern in a pregnancy or a new beginning okay a new start but there's some obstacles here when it comes to the snake now give me more about the obstacles the mountain why is the mountain here Just trying to figure it out. Okay, we got that's why the mountain is here. Why is the snake here? Give me more about the snake. Okay. There's a lot going on with this snake over here. So let's stack these cards real fast. Now, when it comes to the mountains, what's causing the obstacles here with the snake and the false person is there's kisses that's being given out, unconditional loving.
giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Well, that's beautiful. That should not be a problem. Okay. But it's also caused a breakup, a separation. It says stop the patterns, the solid treatment, some type of abandonment issues here. Now, I don't know if it's abandonment when it comes to this pregnancy, this new beginning, this birth with the lady. Um, but there's some type of pattern here, abandonment pattern. Okay. Silent treatment. They need to stop. We got the golden mirror, self absorbed a narcissist. Somebody in a one sided relationship. Somebody is love bombing. Okay. And that's causing the obstacles with this female and this uh, false person. Now let's find out more about the snake. The snake is wearing a mask. Okay. Of course. Okay. We already knew that with the false mask. But then it's like not showing your true feelings about something. So if you're not showing your true feelings and you're just putting on a fake smile and stuff like that, that's just as bad sometimes. Okay. Because you just building up many years of this pattern that your partner can't read you. Your partner can't help you. And it's like you, you eventually going to start putting up uh, boundaries and walls that your partner can't cross like this mountain okay and this mountain with this mountain it's like you're probably not communicating well okay and it's like you got to stop a pattern it's a pattern here that's that's trying to pick back up in this happiness it's like you got a lot of happiness going on but it's some type of pattern that's about to pick back up at the in the third quarter okay that was somebody gonna stop showing their true feelings okay it's like they trying to gaslight they um pretending okay not not showing their true feelings at all and then we got somebody that's heartbroken with the snake Deeply hurt, sad. It's going to cause a separation. Okay. There's a separation here, girl. I guess they're going to split the house. It says, feeling lost and grieving and mourning. Oh. Now, I don't know. I'm starting to pick up uh, with this pregnancy. Okay. They're keeping it secret because they want to make sure that, you know, things go well. And they're being silent about it. But then it seems like it's going to lead to some type of heartbreak. Deeply hurt where they're going to be grieving and mourning. Okay, and it's like girl talk. It's like the only people that's gonna tell is probably the people that's close to them. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. Next, we got talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message, arrived, text, call, hoovering. The phoenix, new phase, rekindle, uh, a transformation, growth, a changed mind. Then we got the butterfly with the relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the ch the inner child and growth. Yeah, I am seeing a lot of happiness here in marriage, possibly a child, possibly if things go well. Um, but I'm seeing that there are some complications here when it comes to the, uh, the possibility of a pregnancy or a child here. Um, and they may not be speaking about it because only with um, close friends and family, you know, people probably praying for them and pulling together for them. But eventually, I think if if it is a miscarriage or something like that it seems like that'll take a toll on this marriage on this um relationship to the point that people are going to start hiding their feelings probably just to, to protect the other partner so that the other partner can't see that they're in pain but that's going to start taking a toll but it seems like they're going to get past it though they're going to um with the phoenix and the butterfly it's like they're going to be able to get past this possibly with some counseling girl so that's good that's good so so I guess that's going to be enough for Mr. Cavell, okay? Because we actually got a good reading out of him, um, and I think it's real a real type of reading, okay? And so I just wish the best for him and his wife or future wife. I don't know if he married or not, girl, but it seems like he he is in a happy place right now. Um, in the third quarter, they're going to go through some challenges, but I think these challenges, if they can stay strong and communicate well, that they will be able to get through it. So that's going to conclude the reading for Mr. Henry Cavell. Okay. Make sure you check out any readings that's down here for you guys. Okay. Check it out. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.